What's up YouTube, Savage here, Brian here, and welcome to my first Marvel video. In today's video, I'll be discussing about Spider-Man Away From Home, so let's get into it. So, Spider-Man Away From Home, we found out last week, is a title for the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming and stuff, and we know that's going to take place in London, and the main villain is going to be Mysterio. So basically in this video I'll be discussing my thoughts and ideas for this Spider-Man movie and stuff. So first off, I find it an interesting choice to have Mysterio to actually be the main villain for a movie like this and stuff. Because Mysterio isn't like the best well-known villain. For people who haven't read the comics or watched the TV shows, they probably would not have heard Mysterio whatsoever and stuff. And Mysterio isn't really like the most dangerous Spider-Man villain. And it's because of that that I find it strange that he's going to be the main villain for the Spider-Man movie and stuff, but he's basically sort of getting the Vulture treatment because Vulture really wasn't like the biggest Spider-Man villain, but he became like a really big threat in Spider-Man Homecoming and they also developed him more and fleshed him out as a villain and stuff. I definitely do think that Mysterio is also going to get the same treatment and they'll fully flesh out his character as a villain and stuff like that. And I think this definitely does help with Marvel focusing on more smaller villains than focusing on more well-known villains and bigger villains like Venom or like like Dr. Octopus or the Green Goblin. I think it's actually better for them to focus on smaller villains so they get developed more because there probably is going to be a Sinister Six in one of the next Spider-Man movies. And I think this because we already see Vulture and Mysterio who actually are in the comics part of the Sinister Six. And for them when they introduce the Sinister Six and stuff, we will already know these villains and stuff and know why they became villains and we already would know all of them because they fleshed out these smaller villains and stuff in the movies. So I think this definitely is a great way to go about this than do what Amazing Spider-Man did where in the end Amazing Spider-Man 2 they just introduced the Sinister Six randomly without really developing the villains for Sinister Six. So I think that definitely is an amazing way to just introduce the Sinister Six with making Spider-Man movies where the smaller villains are basically going to be the main villains villains for that movie so characters are developed and stuff so we already know about these characters before they join the Sinister Six and I also am interested to see what they're going to do with the setting being London this time around stuff and it's probably going to be London because maybe Spider-Man's like on vacation or something because this movie is going to take place after Infinity War Part 2 and stuff so I feel like Spider-Man definitely would want on vacation after him just randomly disappearing not feeling so good for like a little while and stuff or maybe he could be like on a school field trip because the difference between Spider-Man Homecoming and other Spider-Man movies is the fact that they focus way more on Spider-Man's high school life instead of them having like one to two scenes of him in high school and then just him randomly just graduating and stuff. They're actually showing more of Peter Parker's actual life in high school and stuff which I do find great and stuff and they're going to continue this. I think it would be great for Peter to be on a field trip with the school to London and stuff and that's why it's going to take place in London and stuff like that and I think that would be a great excuse to actually change the setting for the Spider-Man movie and stuff and this definitely will be an interesting take on Spider-Man. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say for this video. So tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section below. So yeah, without waste, have to cheer right now.